can I? Baby, can I? Baby, yeah, can I? Baby, can I? Baby. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go from nothing to something with these hair given hair clip-ins. In the previous clip, I was showing you what the hair looked like prior to me dyeing it. I did have to dye it to kind of match my hair. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lot of body foaming mousse and I'm going to detangle each clip-in section. I did receive two bundles of the hair and I will leave all of the details about the hair down in the description bar. But as for the tutorial, what I'm doing is taking smaller perm rods and I'm actually going to perm rod every single one of the clip-ins to achieve the style that I am going for so in these clips you basically see me using the foaming mousse to wrap the hair around the clip ends and secure them and I let them sit outside and dry for about two hours so I wanted to show you close up the texture of the hair it is extremely smooth it detangles very very easily I absolutely love this hair so all you have to do is take the ends of the hair and wrap them around the perm rod just to secure those ends and then wrap the rest of the hair kind of in that twisting grinding method around the rest of the perm rod and then secure it in place so that we can dry and let this hair sit and we're going to end up with these beautiful amazing curls so while that was drying I actually went on ahead and did my hair in a perm rod set and I do have a perm rod set tutorial which I will leave in the i cards I will also leave it in the description bar if you want to kind of see like a more detailed version of how I do perm rods on my taper cut so at this point I'm just taking down all of the rollers the rollers out of the clip ends along with the rollers out of my hair and as you can see it created a really really pretty fluffy like bouncy Shirley Temple esque curl okay my coloring isn't the greatest but you know what it ended up matching my hair so that's all that really matters very first style all I'm going to do is section off my hair I did not take down my curls at all and I'm using these clips to hold my hair out of the way and then I'm going to take the clip ends and I clip them in backwards so that the hair actually fell towards the front of my head and I'm going to repeat that process so I just left maybe about an inch of hair in between each section I took the clip ends and I clipped them in backwards I secured them into place and made sure that all of the clip ends were falling forward so I had like this cascading effect and I'm gonna do that all the way to the front <laughs> kind of have to separate my own personal curls just because I wanted it to be really full in the front I definitely didn't want any gaps and I wanted it to kind of be like when you went through my scalp if anybody ever did go through my scalp which nobody is but I just wanted it to be flawless and seamless like no gaps and I wanted it to perfectly blend in with the rest of my hair now for this portion all I'm doing is really just taking down the curls separating them fluffing them, giving it some volume, and then I'm going to shape it so that it fits my face. So for this first style, what I was going for was like this cascading kind of faux side puff deal with the clip ends. 
and it worked out perfectly I didn't even have to use like any bobby pins or anything to hold the hair in place all I really had to do was just play with it and if you see that little gap where the clip in is showing don't worry I'm actually going to pull some of my hair out of it and then kind of cover it up but I just used my pick to separate the roots of my hair so that you couldn't see any scalp because I didn't want any gaps you know a perfectly smooth transition so that people couldn't tell whether it was weave or whether it was fake so this is the first look I absolutely love it but let's just say this look isn't for you I'm gonna show you how you can take this same look to another level and just get a perfectly curly fro although this is my favorite one now I had a ton of of clip-ins left as you can see I almost had like an additional bundle left over so what I'm going to do with the rest of these clip-ins is I am going to add them to the back of my hair and I'm just repeating that same method I'm going to separate sections of my hair even though my hair is really short in the back it still worked out perfectly and I'm going to clip the clip-ins in but this time as I apply them I am applying them straight down and as you can see I kind of bring them up around the perimeter of my head just so that it falls like a normal afro would fall and I really just went in and filled it in if I noticed that there were like any gaps I used the smaller clip-ins and I filled in those particular gaps so that it wouldn't be separate from the cascading style and then after I finished I just fluffed it I picked out the curls I separated them I added as much volume as I possibly wanted I shook it I twirled and I was just literally in love I think I'm a little bit too excited for this video but I absolutely love this style I love these clip-ins I think that they're easy to use they colored well it did not ruin the texture of the hair and as you can see you can easily get two styles in one so you guys enjoyed this video definitely follow me on all of my other social media networks i'll see you guys in my next video bye